Hey everyone, it's Doug DeVitri and I've got an exciting tutorial for you today on how to convert your existing PowerPoint presentations into a foreign language. How do you do it? What are some shortcuts that will save you time? And you know time is money. So if we were to take a look at existing PowerPoint presentation that you already have, a PowerPoint presentation can be a sales presentation, it can be a pro demonstrating a process or listing certain items. As long as you're clear with the objectives of your PowerPoint, it'll kind of help you save some time within that. Well, I'm going to show you, and we're actually not using PowerPoint. Whenever I say PowerPoint, I'm actually referring to Keynote for myself, Keynote's application used on a Mac computer. Some, a lot of similarities, and I'm going to be, help you make those distinctions if you use Microsoft PowerPoint. So right now, this looks very similar to PowerPoint. If there's probably, what, maybe see 70 slides and then in fact I'll actually condense that down and make it a little bit shorter. Whenever you speak in a foreign language you actually almost want to cut your slides in half to allow for time for people to be able to understand and be much more clear as opposed to kind of running through them one by one. So right here if you look at the top of the screen we have what's called the view or it's kind of like the different options and how you can view the slides within your presentation. I'm going to choose the outline view. And no, on PowerPoint, you, uh, Power, Microsoft PowerPoint, you have the outline view, and you also have the normal view. Well, if we kind of look, if you look at the top left hand corner, you'll be able to make that distinction. So click outline view. When it does, it kind of takes you to where all of your text is, not the slides, but the text within the slides itself. So you can actually go through the bullet points and be able to translate these individually. So before you actually go and make any changes, here's my recommendation. I will go up to the top of the screen and choose File, Save As, and then we're going to rename this and put in, I'm just going to make it short port for Portuguese. So make sure that you save the changes of the original file before you do the foreign language because in no sense in going and then having to retype or go back. So if we were to take a look at this right here in the outline view, we want to translate why social media. Well, it's free. You can be found on the Internet. What people can typically do is go through and highlight it within here, but no, 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 don't, don't, do it. don't do it that way. In fact, go to the outline view right here and then drag your mouse over the text. The shortcut for copy is Control C, or on a Mac, it's, it's Command C. And then go over right into Google Translate, which is translate.google.com. <clears throat> now, you probably have already seen this before, but here's the shortcuts on how to do it within PowerPoint. You can see right now I'm going from English to Portuguese, and I'm going to translate it. So the shortcut for paste is what? Control V. And see, as you, as you type that in, it automatically does it here onto the right-hand side. So all you do here is you drag your left mouse button, highlight the text, the shortcut for copies, Control C. Come back over to your PowerPoint or Keynote, help select this text here, and then hit Control V. Well, watch what happens. It, it does this thing where it makes the, the format a different, uh, different file format. Well, how do you fix that? Well, let me, let's take a step back. If we wanted to go back to the previous action on our PowerPoint, what do you do? Hit Control Z to take you back to the previous action. Now, there's an application on your computer that will save you a ton of time when it comes to formatting. And this isn't good for, uh, for PowerPoint. This is also good for Word or Excel or any other program that has a lot of formatting within it. It's what's called um, the Notepad for PC, or they call it Text Edit in a Mac. Where th what this is, is this is the strips, all of the code and, and the kind of the formatting within it. So we want to paste whatever the words are right into here. So that way it strips the, strips the formatting, highlight it again. So instead of dragging the mouse over, we can select all the text by hitting Control A. Again, Control A. The copy is Control C. And then come back here to the, the presentation. Select the text here, and then there's again the shortcut for paste is Control V, and you have all of the new things that are translated. Well, here's here's something that'll take you a little bit of time to do. Well, you can actually go through here to see. Well, this these are created as new slides. 
I don't want them as new slides. How do I get those to be bullet points within with the, the one slide? Well, if, if this was the first, the, the kind of the, the title of this individual slide and we wanted gratis to be the bullet point within it, instead of doing copy and paste, just hit the tab button on your computer and then come back down here, hit the tab button. Or maybe you, what you can do here is select all the text with its, that's in it and then hit the tab. So what then it does is it takes the title slide, it has all these things in here, and then it's up to you to do whether or not you're going to go in and add in the new pictures or, or the videos and so forth. So as you go through, you can actually do the, uh, select all the text here, <laughs> do the entire translation, or go through step by step each individual slide. It's, it's entirely up to you. So hopefully this is a shortcut that will save you some time on converting your PowerPoint presentations <clears throat> into another foreign language. Thanks again for visiting this tutorial.